Hi hello welcome to math class sj youtube channel hi guys in this video i will explain introduction to trigonometry in this introduction i will explain what is meant by trigonometry why we study this trigonometry and what are the trigonometric ratios and full form full form of the trigonometric ratios and uh, how to read trigonometric ratios this is also very important so many students don't know how to read trigonometric ratios okay after that reciprocal of trigonometry okay so next after studying reciprocal of trigonometry i will go to trigonometric identities here three identities are there three identities is also very important okay so next after that i will go to exponents of trigonometric ratios okay if trigonometric ratio is given in the form of power or exponent how to read it and uh, what it mean okay so those all things i will explain in this video and also complementary uh, angles of trigonometry okay so what is mean by complementary angle and uh, what are the complementary angles in this trigonometry we will study then let's start first one that is what is trigonometry okay so the trigonometry word is derived from greek namely tri gon and metron okay so tri means three gon means sides metron means measurement it means three sides measurement here is the definition of trigonometry trigonometry is a branch of mathematics that studies relationships between side length and angle of triangle okay this is the definition of triangle it means so it is branch of mathematics here we will study the relationship between sides and angles of triangle why we study trigonometry this is the second point so we study the trigonometry because to find length and angle of the right triangle and also to measure the height of the building or mountains and also in physics criminology satellite system in so many fields you will you will take use of this trigonometry okay trigonometric ratios trigonometric ratios means ratios of sides of right triangle is called a trigonometric ratios okay so it means ratios of the sides of right triangle are called a trigonometric ratios here six trigonometric ratios are there let's we'll see what are the six trigonometric ratios so here are the six trigonometric ratios they are first one is sin you can read this one as sin and this is second one that is cos third one you can read it as tan and fourth one is cosecant fifth one is secant and uh, last one is that is cot okay so these six are the trigonometric ratios okay friends here on symbol is there that is theta this is the greek symbol theta we can read this one as theta and theta means angle okay so for example if we consider this is the angle then you can call this one as theta angle theta okay so this is the right angle triangle in this right angle triangle angle b is 90 degree opposite side of this right angle triangle is called a hypotenuse and opposite side of this angle is called a opposite side of the angle a okay and this is the adjacent okay so that's why you can call this one as adjacent side of angle a you can call okay this is the adjacent side of angle a and this is the opposite side of angle a okay so first i'll go to sin ratio okay sin a means what is meant by sin a here sin a means sin at a degree okay so sin a is equals to side opposite to angle a divided by hypotenuse okay this is the ratio of sin a sin a ratio is side opposite to angle a divided by hypotenuse side opposite to angle a is bc and divided by hypotenuse is ac okay so it means sin a is side opposite to angle a divided by hypotenuse that is bc by ac okay 
सेकेंड वन इज कॉस ए इट मीन्स कॉस एट एंगल ए विच इक्वल्स टू एडजेंट साइड ऑफ एंगल ए डिवाइड बाय हाइपोटनेस ओके दिस इज द कॉस ए रेशो सो एडजेंट साइड ऑफ एंगल ए इज ए बी डिवाइडेड बाय हाइपोटनेस इज ए सी ओके सो दिस इज द रेशो ऑफ कॉस ए नेक्स्ट आई विल गो टू थर्ड वन दट इज टेन ए टेन ए मीन्स you can eliminate here hypotenuse means you can remove here hypotenuse and you can take opposite side of angle a divided by adjacent side of angle a you can write okay so i will write here opposite side of angle a divided by adjacent side of angle a okay so here opposite side of angle a is opposite side of angle a is BC. This is the opposite of the angle A. So BC divided by adjacent side of angle A is AB. Okay. This is the ratio of tan A. So here we got sin A ratio, cos A ratio, and tan A ratio. Remaining three are the reciprocal of these three. It means cosecant is reciprocal of sin A. That is AC by BC, or you can write. Hypotenuse divided by side opposite to angle A, and next one is second that is reciprocal of cos A. Okay, so reciprocal of cos A means you can write a hypotenuse divided by adjacent side of angle A, and last one is cot A. Cot A is nothing but reciprocal of tan A. It means adjacent side of angle A divided by opposite side of angle A. You can write. Okay, so I will write it and I will tell you. So fourth one that is cosecant A. Cosecant A means hypotenuse divided by side opposite to angle A. This is the ratio of cosecant A. So in this figure, in this right angle, hypotenuse is AC and side opposite to angle A is BC. Okay. This is the ratio of cosecant A. Next fifth one is secant A. So or you can call this one as sec A. That is Ratio of hypotenuse and adjacent side of angle A. So here hypotenuse is AC. Okay. So adjacent side of angle A. Adjacent side of angle A is AB. Okay. So it means secant A ratio is AC divided by AB. You can write. Next one is cot A. This is the last. So cot A ratio is adjacent side of angle A divided by opposite side. to angle a so here adjacent side of angle a is ab divided by opposite side of angle a is bc okay so these six are the trigonometric ratios full form of the trigonometric ratios so so many students don't know what are the full form of the trigonometric ratios so here sin means you can write this one as sin s i n e sin okay you can read this as sin and second one is cos okay its full form is cosine next third one is tan its full form is tangent okay so next fourth one is cosec its full form is cosecant and fifth one is sec its full form is secant and last one is cot its full form is cotangent okay so you can read this one as sin cos tan cosecant secant and cot okay here are the reciprocals of trigonometry so sin theta its reciprocal is 1 divided by cosec theta and cosecant theta you can write 1 divided by sin theta cosecant theta is equals to 1 divided by sin theta also you can write and you can bring this sin theta this side then this becomes into okay so sin into cosecant equals to 1 so this Three are also very important. So, next, cos theta can be written as one divided by secant theta. So cos theta reciprocal is secant theta. Our reciprocal of cos is secant theta. Okay. So secant theta can be written as one divided by cos theta because you can bring this this side and this this one you can bring this side. Then this becomes divided by. Okay. Or you can bring Second theta this side, then this becomes cos into second. Okay, so cos into second is also one. Next I will go to tan theta. Tan theta can be written as one divided by cot theta. It means tan reciprocal is cot theta. 
okay so cot theta can be written as 1 by tan theta because you can bring this one this side then this one you can bring this side this becomes divided by okay or you can write cot theta into tan theta cot theta into tan theta which equals to 1 so this also very important this also very important this also very important okay so these three are the very very important trigonometric identities okay so these three are called trigonometric identities so first one is sin square theta plus cos square theta is equal to 1 okay this can be written as sin square theta is equal to 1 you can write then you can bring plus cos square this side then this becomes minus cos square theta okay or also you can write cos square theta as it is cos square theta is equal to 1 you can write plus sin square theta can bring this side then this becomes minus sin square theta okay so first one can be written as these three types okay so second one 1 plus tan square theta is equal to second square theta so 1 is equal to you can write second square theta plus tan square becomes minus tan square okay so minus tan square theta okay so next you can bring this tan square theta this side then this becomes minus tan square theta and plus second square theta can bring then this becomes minus second square theta or you can write this tan square theta left hand side as it is you can bring this plus one this side then this becomes minus okay that is second square theta minus one so tan square theta is equal to second square theta minus one okay so next third one is 1 plus cot square theta is equal to cosecant square theta 1 you can write as it is so cosecant square theta minus cot square theta okay so here you can write 1 as it is then you can bring cot square theta this side then this becomes minus cot square theta okay so next you can write this cot square theta here as it is okay so you can write here cosecant square theta and plus 1 becomes minus 1 okay so from this one trigonometric identity we will get here 3 formulas okay and from this second one we will get here 3 okay 1 2 3 and next this third one we will get here from this third one we will get 1 2 3 okay so these three are the very very important identities next one exponents of trigonometric ratios so you see here this is given that is sin square theta you can read this one as sin square theta sin square theta is nothing but sin theta whole square okay so for example sin square theta in place of theta you can substitute 45 degree okay sin square 45 can be written as sin 45 degree whole square it means sin 45 value is 1 by root 2 this whole square you can write as it is after that you can simplify this one so 1 square value is 1 and square root 2 whole square means 2 you will get ok so I hope you understand complementary angles of trigonometry so complementary angles of trigonometry means sin 90 degree minus theta is cos theta and cos 90 degree minus theta is sin theta it means in place of sin 90 degree minus theta you can write cos theta and in place of cos 90 degree minus theta you can write sin theta in place of tan 90 degree minus theta you can write cot theta and in place of cot 90 degree minus theta you can write tan theta okay similarly cosecant 90 degree minus theta can be written as secant theta in place of secant 90 degree minus theta you can write cosecant theta okay so dear students i hope you understand thanks for watching